Hi everyone, we're off for a long walk. Nine days on the Wainwright, Wainwright Memorial Walk. 160 something kilometers or just over 100 miles. Uh, 102 miles. 102 miles, there we go. On hell of a lot of ascent. Almost 35,000 feet. Feet. We have an easy day to start with. Um, we are off up to the summit of Yoke. Uh, easy day because we started quite late in the day. Uh, we'll set up camp on the summit of Yoke and uh, our first night will be there. Wainwright Memorial Walk is a 107 mile route through the Lake District that A. Wainwright, legendary author, artist and fell walker, set out to walk with three friends over the Whitsunday holiday of 1931. The route the friends took, recorded in sketch maps at the time, was originally planned to take six days, but most people now attempted over 11 days. The route starts in Windermere and ends in Ampleside. Along the way, Wainwright promises to lead the walker everywhere worth mentioning in the Lake District, on a route devised to make sure that every lake, every valley, every mountain will be seen if not actually visited. Lots of easy going footpath today because uh, we're not gaining that much height. We've been going along a, a bit like a forest track, vehicle track for the last number of kilometres. Uh, now we're going to start gradually climbing up and heading on to the Garburn Pass, which is uh, a bridleway, and we're going to be skirting round Sallows and Sour House before we make our way up Yoke. Okay. You are cute. Leaving the Garburn Pass behind now. So we're just leaving it at its highest point and heading off up towards Yoke. Hoping that there's water at the summit. There should be a small tarn for us to collect water on to filter for evening meal, etc. If there isn't, well, we shall have to carry over, carry on over the next few summits to get to another next lot of water supply. But hopefully there is a tar at the top that's not dry. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Here we go, just come up to the summit of Yoke. First Wainwright for the whole trip, and the only one for today. Worried about when we got up here if we could find water, but... Centre of the screen now, water. Oh, there's a gate as well, so we can get through. That's good, fine, we're gonna get water supply. Not quite deep right. enough to swim in, I don't think. Go and find somewhere to put the tent up. Well, we're sat in the tent at the moment, eating. Fuel. Fuel. <laughs> Just add boiling water, stir and eat. Quite nice. Yeah. Uh, sat in the tent with the mesh door closed because the midges are absolute hell. Slightly. Slightly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there are a fair few of them out there. Well, I prefer they stayed out there, but we stayed in here. Anyway, having food after setting up the tent. And then we're going to go for a little wander around and look at the, the summit of Yoke and uh, the views. Anyway. Which are very nice. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to eat. Uh, just below the summit of Yoke. It's a beautiful evening. It may be clouds high up. Uh, it's a bit hazy, but it's still stunning views. You can see across to the central fells. Scarfell range, I can see Great Gable, Green Gable, 
you can see south down to the Coniston range and then sweeping round the small town we've got water out from there's the town of Kendall in the distance in sunshine and then our tent and then looking across closer you can see Hartafell in the distance Kentmere Reservoir below and then Il Bell. <laughs>